Hi everyone, Simon here. Here we are again. Love on the rocks. Let me lift that camera up a bit more. Mate. What number are we on now? Number three? Number four? Time's flying already. Where do we leave it? Oh. Ah, she's got a golden goose. Possibly. She's left the hotel, checked out, given Jean all her details. She's heading to Bangkok for a business meeting or a business, um, whatever she's doing in Bangkok. She's hoping he's going to bite the hook and he's going to obviously contact her and follow her to Bangkok. That's what she's got in her mind for sure. She's checked out. She's gone to see that bar girl to say thanks for setting her up given her the information of Jean. She's then jumped on a bike and headed back to her room in Phuket town, where she's got her bag packed and everything, heading to Bangkok. As she's come out, surprise, surprise. Police waiting for her and arresting her. And the foreigner, Dave, the guy she married, the sham marriage she set up in the village. She took him for nigh on a million baht for gold for sin sod for spending money and then as soon as he'd gone home she's dumped him what's she gonna do here she is outside her room on the street police a couple of police dave stood there what's her choices she's a professional business girl seven years trying different businesses out in the industry does she a deny all knowledge of him never seen the guy threaten to sue his sorry ass does she b break down in tears admit everything give him his money back maybe there's alternatives to that we won't go into that. Very clever girl. She doesn't know what Jean, whether it's going to pan out. Is he worth her parting with a million baht to get rid of this Dave character? And all that hard work. She doesn't know what Jean will do. She doesn't know if he's going to bite the hook is he going to follow her to Bangkok it's a gamble really she should admit to what she's done she should go to the police station hand money back pay any fines and hope she's not going to get thrown in jail do the correct thing But you know that's not going to happen. There's always twists in these stories. And yes, she stands in front of her room, bottom of the steps, blatantly lying. And immediately tells the police officers that she has never seen this man before looking at Dave in the eyes she doesn't know who he is what is going on they've definitely got the wrong person mistaken identity and the police are looking at her and looking at him he hasn't got his interpreter with him he hasn't got his lawyer stood there he doesn't speak Thai he's saying it's her, arrest her, arrest her. She's speaking Thai. You know, guys, police, what are you doing? You've got the wrong person. What can they do? They risk, if they arrest her and take her down and she's the wrong person, they're gonna lose face. They look at him again and he's still pointing at her and yes, yes, yes. They err on caution and they arrest her. They put her in the police car and take her to the 
Phuket Police Station. Dave follows on his bike or on a bike taxi and at the station she is put to one side and he's given time to get his lawyer and interpreter. He jumps on the phone. His interpreter is not available. She's busy. His lawyer, busy. Can't just drop everything and come down. He's fuming. Absolutely fuming. The one Thai police officer that speaks English says to him, are they coming? And he's like, no, they're busy. I can't get them. He tries to explain this. This is the woman. This is the one that's taken his money. And then the policeman off asks him for proof. Have you got a copy of her ID card, the marriage certificate? Have you got any proof here, now? No. Nothing, says Dave. Police officer says, can't do anything for you. He says, uh, we'll copy her ID card and we'll let her go. Nothing we can do. You need to bring us proof before we can bring anything against her. Dave's furious. Oh, released. Walks out the door. Now she knows that when she set up that Sinsod marriage, she didn't use her own ID card. She didn't use her real name. She didn't use real addresses. She didn't use anything that would tie her to that. Yes, there's money going in and out of banks, but what accounts did she use? this point nobody knows walks out she's got a bag she brought with her to the station taxi airport Bangkok off she goes Dave can't do anything he's immediately on the phone chasing his lawyer his interpreter telling them what happened and they've told him just to calm down they'll deal with it when they've got time and he'll just have to keep on fighting. But he's got a copy, well, the police got a copy of this girl's ID card. What, they won't release it to him. At this point, it's none of his business, this girl's ID card. So, have to do that with a lawyer's interpreter. Dave's furious, but he's got a breakthrough. They, he knows she's still in the area at this point, and the police have got her ID card. There's hope for him. Oh, blazing off to Bangkok. She's now pre-warned that he's still about Dave and that he's after her. So maybe it's a good time not to go to Phuket for a while. Or will she contact him and do a settlement outside away from the police? Maybe. Bangkok. She's got her friend's condo she stays at and heads there. She's got no one close, close friend that she confides in with every detail of her business. No one to talk to. So she keeps all of this inside her. Plan B, off she goes. Now she's thinking of Jean. It's evening. He's not telephoned her or sent her any messages she doesn't contact him she gets out gets some food does bits of business with her friends next day Jean in his hotel if it isn't the cats the chickens the cows it's Ma next door with his bangers scaring the birds Jean's at his hotel He'd sat all night thinking about, oh, he's still got some eight, nine days left of his holiday. He's paid for the hotel in Phuket, five, six star, whatever it is. Yeah, he's broken up with his previous girlfriend. He caught her cheating. Instead of just letting everything go, relaxing on his holiday and going home, no, he can't his brain's running at high speed and all he can think about is 
Oh. This guy's got plenty of money. Money's no object. Why do these women have this effect on guys? He doesn't suspect anything with though. Thinks it's all absolutely fine. She's a lovely businesswoman. She doesn't work in the bar industry. She's just pure gold. She would make a fabulous girlfriend, wife material maybe. And yes, of course he does. He picks his phone up. And he sends her a message. How are you? What are you doing today? It's morning in Bangkok. Ho's got the message. She's not going to respond straight away. She's going to tease him a bit. Maybe wait an hour. She goes off, gets her breakfast. Thinks about her plans. How is she going to get him to Bangkok? How is she going to get him to spend money? He's only got eight or nine days left. She has got to accelerate her plan to work out of what level of money she can take from him. Is he going to fall for her hook, line and sinker and offer her the world? She sends a message back. Great to hear from you. Really nice. I'm finishing off business today in Bangkok, but I, I'll be free after 5 p.m. And uh, how are you? What are you doing? Of course, Dave sat there. He's bored now by the swimming pool. Bored at the hotel. His excitement is is just he's just can't get her out of his mind. He's a well-travelled guy. He knows it's only a few hours, and he can be in Bangkok. What's what's a few dollars for a hotel he's already booked? But he's got to fly home from Phuket, so he's going to have to come back. Or could he change the flights? Maybe. And he responds to her. I'm a little bit bored here. Um, I'd love to take you out for dinner tonight. If I come up to Bangkok, um, where would be a good place to meet you this evening? That's it. She knows she's got him. He's going to travel all the way to Bangkok for her. <sighs> she knew. She planned it. Get him into the richer city. More chance of getting her away from that other girl. Also now for her getting away from Dave. And she can get the, the squeeze on him. And she said, let's meet at uh, 7 p.m. I'll come to your hotel. Which hotel are you staying at? And he's straight away he's thinking I don't know. He leaves it. He jumps online. Quick flicking around. Usual sites for finding hotels. And he's always looking for five star upwards. He says, oh, I don't know, I don't know which part of Bangkok she's in, but he loves it by the river, by the river. Lots of nice restaurants around there. He hasn't stayed up there for a while. So he picks a, a, a Marriott on Sucking Bit Road. Not thinking, and again, he's gone near Soy Force, Nana Plaza, Sucking Bit just next door pretty much Marriott five star what's he like that's nowhere near the river but anyway there he goes he's booked it for one night Marriott hotel comes back to her I'm not sure on hotel so I've booked the Marriott it's on Sucking Bit Road um, do you know it and she's come back yeah of course I know it she's thinking why is he booked there <laughs> okay she says I'll see you in the lobby 7 p.m. Marriott Hotel near Soy 4. Oh. That's it, she's got him. He's about to travel all the way up to Bangkok, check in another hotel, more money, just to take her out for dinner. Hmm. 
and off he goes. Says to his hotel he's going uh, to Bangkok for a few days. Um, he'll leave his stuff in his room and he'll be back. So he's going to have to come back for all his stuff. His plan is, yeah, back down. A couple more days, then fly off. Is that a good move? Should he not just take all his stuff? Go to Bangkok? Hmm. Anyway, gets her one of his small bags, throws a few clothes in it, taxi, airport, this plane's up and down all day and all evening, off he goes Bangkok, gets to Bangkok, taxi, rings the hotel, limo, don't use a taxi, get the limo, and the hotel send the limo, Dave, <coughs> he's uh, furious, He's tried to get hold of his interpreter and lawyer for meetings. He's got his interpreter. He meets with her in the afternoon and tells her what's happened. She's not a lawyer, she's just an interpreter. She says, okay, well, you set a meeting up with the lawyer and the police or whatever the lawyer says and we'll, we'll do it. The lawyer's busy. You're gonna have to wait um, till the next day. She's spitting, absolutely furious. He had her there, in the police station, and she's gone. What can he do? Absolutely nothing. He's got to wait for the lawyer, I'll take it from there. By her saying she'd never seen him in her life before, if he can prove it is her and she was lying, she's in for more serious trouble. So that wasn't a good move, possibly. Time will tell. What's going to happen? What's the lawyer going to say? Can Dave prove it's her? When he tells the lawyer that he had her there and then she walked away, says she'd never seen him before, it's going to be up to him to prove it, isn't it? He's going to have to. Not up to her. Surely, though, he had some video footage of the wedding or footage of the money transferring maybe but he drew it all out in cash didn't he the gold he pre-bought gave her money it must have been always cash did he transfer any money to her bank hmm what do you think is she gonna get caught we'll leave it there I'll see you on the next one let me know what you think. Is she going to get her just desserts? Or is she going to get away with it? Has she got Jean already? What's he going to buy her?